welcome to the channel guys if you guys are new here welcome back if you guys are subscribers and today we're going to be changing spark plugs on this 4.6 liter v8 all right guys um for the removal of the old spark plugs, you're going to need a 5 8 um, socket that has the rubber in the center and a, a long extension and a ratchet. Um, you're also going to need a 10 millimeter socket to remove the cover that's on top of it and an 8 millimeter and a small ratchet to remove the um, clamp that holds on the air intake. Alright, so this is the air intake. Um, hose that is in the way of us getting to the um, spark plugs that is underneath so you just loosen it up take it right off and then I'm already missing a bolt on this side so I'm just gonna take off this bolt and remove the cover for the spark plug um, plate this is the plate that holds down the firing coils for each cylinder. So now that the plate is removed, you don't have to unplug anything, you just grab each coil individually and it should come right out. You just lay them down. It's pretty hard to get them mixed up because of their wire harness length. So you just pull them right out. This is now where you take that uh, 5 8 socket, break the spark plugs free. push down on it and pull them out as you can see this spark plug is worn and uh, pretty dirty and fouled out on the tip so we're gonna change that and um, I'm gonna pull the rest of the spark plugs out this motor and then we're gonna come back and install the new ones all right so today we're gonna be swapping out these uh, champion 3401s for the NGK I believe these are 3403s and this is the most uh, performance spark plug that you can buy for a naturally aspirated 4.6 and what you want to do after you already remove your plugs is you want to take this out of the case remove the cardboard cap from the tip drop it into the hole take your extension and the socket by itself don't put the ratchet on it as yet just have to drop it on there and hand twist it just to make sure that you're not cross threading uh, the inside of your head and also the spark plug if you notice I can't turn it anymore this is where you grab your ratchet put it on and you just cap it off you don't you don't put a lot of torque on this and that's it that's how you install your plugs and the main reason why I was changing the plugs on this motor is because it was boosted but I'm turning it back NA and the gap, I closed the gap on these plugs and they're also fouled out. Um, so I wanted to change the plugs to see if it'll stop the motor from sputtering. Also, the fuel could possibly be bad. Um, someone in a previous video brought that to my attention that I could also have to clean up my fuel system before getting it to not sputter. But hopefully the plugs make a big enough difference in how it runs. That'll give me the confidence that the motor is sound and I can pull it out and use it in whatever application that I want to use it in. So I'm going to finish installing these plugs and then we're going to put a battery in it and start it up. Alright, so we have a battery in it and we're going to attempt to start it. Like I said, it was sputtering and it didn't want to idle in the last video. So we're going to see what it does now with new plugs in it. Uh, still, still sound like it's sputtering.
The exhaust is coming out much cleaner than before. But the exhaust is the only noise that the motor is making. So I'm pretty confident now that if I pull this motor out and uh, clean everything up and make sure that no gunk is in the motor, alternators cleaned up, um, I'm pretty sure this is gonna run just fine. All right guys, and that is how you change spark plugs on any 4.6 liter V8 from Ford at least. And this is the dual overhead cam version that came in the Mach 1, the Cobra, and obviously the Mercury Marauder. I believe the Navigator Jeeps and the Aviator Jeeps have the um, same motor, so it'll be the same concept. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys want to follow this build um, that we're doing on this uh, dual overhead cam 4.6, uh, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. I'll catch you guys on the next one.